Yo, 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 yo. CTB. Chin Tuck Boxing. It's your boy Jay Slay. Say what up to him, man. What's up, everybody? Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. You know why? Because we love boxing and you love boxing. Most definitely, most definitely. This is the place where the boxing fans come to get these delicious entrees of boxing knowledge. Today on the menu, we have this for you guys. Wait, if Anthony Joshua beats Tyson Fury, then let's see Joshua and Fury. And, and well, Wilder. Here, well, here's the thing. And Wilder, though. Here's I think thing. that Wilder should get the winner. Don't don't look too much at the contracts because, right. look, Deontay Wilder has to be getting paid to step aside. And right. when you get step aside money, when you're next with a contract, it ain't a uh, hundred grand. It's five, ten million right. dollars. You know, so it, Deontay's getting money just for waiting. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. There you have it. From, from the home of Tyson Fury, ESPN, Ooh. Tyson Fury's American network. They saying that uh, Deontay Wilder has to get paid to step aside. Mm -hmm. Don't look too much into the contracts that you're hearing about because Wilder's have, Wilder has to be paid step aside money. It ain't going to be $1 million. It ain't going to be $2 million. Hmm. He said between $5, 10 $15 million. So, all this is coming at the heels of the announcement that was made uh, yesterday from Eddie Hearn saying that the fight is a done deal. It's a two-fight deal been signed by both Tyson Fury and AJ's camp. And ESPN put it out. BT Sports put it out. It's all over the globe. How you feel, man? How you feel about that fight really being made, man? You, what, where are they fighting at, man? You know? No, nobody knows what they're fighting at yet. Okay. Has Wilder been paid paid the ten million to fifteen million dollars yet? No. <laughs> what what's the what's the fight date, bro? We don't have a fight date. That's funny. So tell me how you feel, man. What's 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 going on? What you think is going on with this announcement, man? From a real bot from a real boxing fan a real boxing fan perspective. What you, what you looking at this as? Well the first thing I wanna say is I don't mind the fight. So I'm not a hater. That doesn't want to see Joshua and Fury fight. It's a great fight. It's a, it's a big heavyweight fight. Facts. I'm a I'm a boxing fan before anything. So if the fight can be made the a fair way, where well, I guess why to get what he deserved because they had a contract, and in the contract, the man was supposed to get his trilogy fight. And if they can work out something with Wilder and he agrees to it, I have no problem with that fight being made. But with that being said, it's a lot of funny stuff going on. It, this is this has been messy, and, and I mean, you have Eddie Hearn and, and Bob going back and forth. You have Tyson Fury saying he don't want to fight this guy, fight that guy. I can do what I want to do, or I, I'm sitting on the couch getting fat. Then you got Eddie Hearn coming out and saying that, hey, we got we got a a confirmed fight date. I mean, not a confirmed fight with a two fight deal. Two fight deal, but, yeah. But then you hear the interview with Max Kellerman, and he's saying that they're going to have to pay Wilder, like you said, 5 to 10 maybe $15 million for him to step aside. So if that hasn't happened yet, why are we confirming a fight when a man hasn't been paid his step aside money? Exactly, exactly. Uh, if you guys didn't know, our source came from uh, ESPN First Take. Uh, the link will be in the bio if you want to watch the video for yourself and come up with your own assumptions or your own uh i don't know chop it up how you want to but to mm -hmm. me as a real boxing fan i hate to see it i hate to see things like this happen and people getting uh you got eddie hearn announcing a fight that bob barham and uh frank warner or frank warren didn't even tell him to do that. Frank Warren had an interview today also, I think with BT. I think I'll put that link in the bio also. Mm -hmm. But Frank Warren gave an interview on BT Sports saying that nobody told Eddie Hearn to announce this fight. And nobody, uh, I think his exact word was, uh, some people want to be bigger than the fight. Exactly. <laughs> he said some people want to be bigger than the fight. And he, he pretty much broke the agreement not to announce it yet. I want to ask the question, like, for people that... They're so you you so sure that the fight is made. Uh, now this is a huge fight. Yeah. Joshua against Fury. Normally when you have a fight that huge, 
you would see on a fighter's Instagram or Twitter or and, and, and maybe I'm wrong, but between Joshua and Fury, now one of them came out and said, you know, the fight is on or, you know, normally the fighters will confirm what's been reported. And Joshua's right. quiet. Fury's quiet. Bob Aaron is pretty much quiet so he, when he talks a little shit. <laughs> right. The only person that's talking is her. Yep. So to me, it's just something is not adding up, man. Like, like once again, I don't mind the fight. I'm not hating on the fight. Calm down, everybody out there. Before you go hating, saying we hating on the fight. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, normally when a fight of this magnitude is made, you don't have these kind of hiccups. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, crazy. The, mis the miscommunication is, is beyond, like, you you would think these people are new to this game or something. Like, yeah, these guys are seasoned. Right. They're season promoters. They, <laughs> they've been in charge of multi-million dollar contracts and yes. multi-million events. Biggest fights in history. Some of the biggest fights in history. And they they blundering this thing all to pieces. Uh, they're pointing and blaming each other. They're, I guess, I don't know. I guess it's too many hands in the pot. Like, it's three mm -hmm. big-time promoters involved with this one deal. And on top of that, they're trying to get over another fight to make this fight happen. Which is the mm -hmm. Wilder fight with Furry, and then they're trying to get over a pandemic and make make the most money possible to pay all these promoters. Yes. Uh, trying to find a hundred dollars. I heard. I think the rumor was a hundred million dollars for a site fee. They was they was trying to get, and they can't find a country willing to pay that because it's a pandemic. It's, people who invest that type of money are gonna have gonna want a return on their money. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you another thing. What's up? That people don't understand. They have to pay wider step aside money, right? You heard it from it's Matt gonna be, himself. It's going to be 10, 5 to 15 million dollars. Mm -hmm. Eddie Hearn is not paying that. Facts. That's not a part of it. Bob has to pay that. So Eddie Hearn is coming out making announcements about the fight, but Bob is going to make his money. So when he, he sets a fight up, the first thing he's saying is, I got to cover that 15, 10 million dollars that Wilder got to pay. I got to pay him. Man, so Bob unless it makes nobody. sense, Bob is not going to make the fight. You know what I'm saying? For Eddie Hearn, it's great. You know what I'm saying? Because they got to split their cut with Bob. But Bob got to split a cut with ESPN. He got to split mm -hmm. a cut with Wilder. Then he got to split with Eddie Hearns. And if the money don't add up, Bob Man. is not going to make the fight. You forgot about Frank Warren. Frank Warren. And Frank Warren. Frank Warren. Like he said, there's a lot of hands. A lot of people with their hands in the, in, in the pocket, in the money jar. You talking oh. about you talking about Bob Brown, the same man who went and paid Sean Porter, a, he went to pay Sean Porter a million dollars to fight Terrence Crawford. You talking about that cheapskate Bob Brown? Yeah, exactly. He's, he's not paying. He's not gonna want to pay Wilder no step aside money. That's no. And to me, it's it's beyond me that the fight. A lot of well, I ain't gonna say D fight fans, but a a demographic of fight fan. I just put it that way. They're saying that there is no court case and no arbitration, but the evidence is seeming to be. It's going to be proof in the pudding. If if it were if Wilder didn't have a case for the rematch and the rematch was expired, why would they have to pay him step aside money? Just exactly. ask yourself. As it's, like we like, like my boy Mon said many times in this video, we are not fanboys. <laughs> we are not hating on the fight. We just want to see all three of these guys fight each other. Mm -hmm. But use your common sense. Why would they have to pay Wilder so much money to avoid a fight? Why wouldn't you just fight him? And and you said on the last video that we well, we both agreed to it, but you said it that you think that Bob wants Fury to fight Wilder, and I it do. makes sense now because if he fights Wilder first, when he fights Joshua, he don't have to pay the step aside money. Exactly. If he fights his trilogy and he wins, if 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 uh, Bob believes he wins, he gets big money on the Wilder fight, then he can make the Joshua fight and won't have to pay. Five, ten, or fifteen million dollars a while. So why would I fight Joshua first and pay ten or fifteen fifteen million dollars to this guy when we can fight him, get him out the way, and get a two fight deal with mm -hmm. Joshua with no uh, extra hand in the money jar? Just think, I, just think about it. That's all I'm saying. Like I go a, saying. I go a little deeper than that. I go a little deeper than that. Why pay Wilder ten to fifteen million dollars to step aside? Well, you can fight Wilder and make a hundred million dollars off that fight here alone. Exactly. Texas, Texas is wide open. You can put it mm -hmm. in Dallas Cowboys Stadium and pack the house and put it on pay per view. Stimulus checks just came out. People got a little extra money in their pocket. Maybe they got. Maybe they want to pay the the fifty to sixty to seventy dollars for a good fight. 
So that pay per view will be huge. The, t- the timing for it is right now. That, that pay per view will be huge. And then if you like, like I said, you beat Wilder again, that only makes the AJ fight bigger. Cause now you mm-hmm. beat Wilder twice, and some people eyes three times. Mm-hmm. But now you beat Wilder, you it's no more, no more back door, no more back, no more arbitration, no more nothing. It's pretty much free and clear to fight AJ anywhere in the world you want for all the marbles. Mm-hmm. And then, and then I go even deeper with you. AJ Hearn and AJ might like that also because now they can fight Usyk, which is their mandatory, and get that money, get that extra money as champion because there's no guarantee that they're going to beat uh, beat Fury. So that they, yeah. they have a so they have another another workout fight to be in the pot and pretty much in their pocket. Like it's mm-hmm. like I, like I said, we're not fanboys. We just speaking common sense to you guys. It makes sense to go ahead and get that wilder fight over with. Mm-hmm. It makes sense for everybody, except for Fury, it seems like. Yeah, except for Fury. <laughs> and ask you to ask yourself why. Like, why do you think Fury is the only one who don't want this fight? And possibly AJ. AJ probably don't want him to fight either. Why Fury don't want it with Wilder? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, well, I ain't never been hit by Wilder. So <laughs> <laughs> that probably got a lot to do with it. When you get knocked out like, like he did, it, it, that's that's a lingering effect that stays in the back of your mind. So I think, man, we, and then I think it, it's a thing called karma. And, and I, like I said, if he did cheat, yeah, you got to go with that in the back of your mind in that fight. That I cheated this man, and this man is gonna come with a, uh, I won't put him a death on his mind. He gonna be he pissed he, off. He really gonna be trying to catch a body. So yeah. I don't know, you know, maybe he's a little scared because uh, he I'm feel like. The- I'm on the record saying that uh, I always thought Wilder was friendlier, like friendlier to Fury. Like they was always buddy buddy mm-hmm. and hung up. Even from the first fight, that was buddy buddy uh, on press conferences. But I think this, he, I think he reached a level of a uh, Stavern or Brazil with this one. Yeah, it, this this, I, this this gonna be ugly. I think the hate that Wilder has is gonna have him coming yeah. out here trying to try to ring his bell, man. And not only, not only that, but if like you're saying, we're not saying it's true, we're not saying it's false. We mm-hmm. believe it's true. But we can't say it. We'll say allegedly. If he did cheat, he can't do it again now. Like, yeah, that's another thing. They're all over it now. So what what new plan will you have? But we kind of got sidetracked. The main topic of this video was supposed to be first take and how they're aware of the arbitration and aware of Wilder's contract. Mm-hmm. But yet they still promoting a fight that they, that they knew possibly wasn't going to happen. So just just we're just closing closing real quick. What's your final thoughts on that? On on the knowledge of that arbitration that they they still trying to cover up and admitting to it, covering up. I think, man, it's it's like I said. The word for me is messy. It's, it's, it's a messy situation for for two promoters that's been in so many big fights and been in this situation many a time for it to get like this and all the back and forth and the. You know, and they seem like they're not on the same page. One side is confirming the fight deal. The other side is quiet. And, mm-hmm. and, I'm, and until I hear all parties pretty much on the same page, I'm not going to take I'm taking it as a grain of salt. I'm not going to confirm. I'm not going to get my hopes up for that heavyweight undisputed fight until I hear Bob, Tyson, Joshua, and Eddie Hearns all on the same page, which yeah. we have not heard since the talks of this fight has been discussed. Yeah. So until then, you know, I'm going to sit back and watch how it play out because it, it's a mess right now. It's a soap opera. Yeah, I agree with you, man. It's it's a whole soap opera. It's it's messy. You got one promoter saying, fuck the fans and get a life fans. You got the other promoter announcing their fight super early. And then you got the other other promoter in the background like, like, like what's yeah. going on? What's going on with y'all <laughs> over here? But that's our show, man. It's CTB. It's Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy Jay Slay. I'm cutting him out of here, man. All right, everybody. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. We really appreciate the views and the new subscribers. We see you. Let's keep this channel growing, man. You know, we love boxing and you love boxing. But most of all, peace and love, and we out of here.